Okay, so for our next example, we have a boat that's at constant velocity of 1.5 meters per second, traveling east. It accelerates, same direction, I should write that down, accelerates east at 2.40 meters per second squared. So let's draw a picture of what this boat's doing. Looks more like Noah's Ark than a boat, but that's fine. So it is going in this direction, north, south, east, west, east. And its acceleration, call this V naught, because we're told it starts at a constant velocity at 1.50 meters per second squared. And this is going to be our acceleration of 2.40 meters per second squared. The acceleration is in the same direction as the initial velocity, so it's not slowing down first. It's starting at a certain velocity and then increasing in velocity. And we're told that this action is taking place over 5.00 seconds. So the first question we want to know is how fast is the boat moving after five seconds? Okay, so we have, what do we have? We have V naught equals one, make sure you can see this, sorry about that, equals 1.50 meters per second. We have acceleration equals 2.40 meters per second squared. We have time equals 5.00 seconds. We're gonna be asked for two things. The first one we're asked for is what is V final? We don't know that. And the next thing we're asked for is how much time, uh, how far has it traveled? So we wanna know our dx at that time. So if I wanna know what this is, if I start my origin at my initial velocity of 1.50, and if I call x initial or x naught zero at that point, then I know that I only need to solve for one x. So I'm gonna say I know my x naught is zero. Okay, that's all what we were talking about, being able to shift your origin around. You can move these things to make the answers or the problem as easy to solve as you possibly can. So what pieces do we have? And let's look at our equation. For the first one, we want V final. We have time and we have acceleration, but we don't have position. So we have time, we have acceleration, and we have our initial. We want that. Oh, handy. We don't need to solve or move anything around. Let's use this guy. So for part A, move this up so you can see it. V equals V naught plus acceleration times time. Now we'll just plug in our numbers here. Our V naught is 1.50 meters per second plus our acceleration is 2.40 meters per second squared. And our time is 5.00 seconds. So let's check our units. The squared cancels out with this one, so we're in meters per second, good, in meters per second. So we can add these parts and pieces together. So let's do this in one step on the calculator. Clear. Move it to where you can hopefully maybe see something. I have 1.5, you can't see that. 1.5 plus, I'm gonna open a parenthesis, 2.4, times five, and I get 13.5 meters per second. Cool. So after I start at some given speed or velocity of 1.5 meters per second, if I accelerate at 2.40 meters per second, after five seconds, I am now traveling at 13 meters per second. Cool. So part B is how far have I traveled? So now we know we have V final, we'll fill that in up here, is 13 meters per second. We have X naught, we just don't have X final. And it just so happens we have a handy dandy one right here, 
No reorganizing needed. It's already set up just to solve for position. So let's write that one down. X equals X naught zero, so we're going to ignore it. V naught T plus one half A T squared. Let's put our numbers in. Equals V naught is 1.50 meters per second. Make sure you can see that. Times time. Time hasn't changed, it's still just five seconds. Plus one half acceleration is 2.40 meters per second squared times time squared is time five seconds squared. Now the seconds are going to square and cancel out with these seconds, so now we're in meters here. And we come over here and look at these units, meters per second and second up top. So those seconds cancel out, so we're meters here. So let's do this one step on our calculator. I have, I'm going to open parentheses, 1.5 times 5, close my parentheses, plus, and just so I don't make mistakes, I'm going to just mentally convert I'll, we'll open a parenthesis. Mentally convert the one half to 0.5 times 2.4 times 5 squared. 5, I know that most of you probably know what that is, but get used to finding the buttons on your calculators. So this up arrow squares me. Now, if you'll notice, I have a parenthesis here, and I don't have one there, so I need to close it and hit enter. There we go. And there's the answer, 37.5. So in that amount of time, I have traveled, what, is, what are our units left with? Left with meters, 37.5 meters. Bada bing.